Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We're back in Timberborn. I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. We are in the drought. Looks like for three more days, just a little over three more days. I'm going to double speed, actually. Let's go double speed. We're in the drought, but water's looking good. We have almost 2,000 water. Wood is looking great. Building materials are starting to rebound. Look at the planks, 155. Last episode, I think we finally turned on the beaver wheel here. We'll see if we can get a worker in there and at least get a little bit more plank production. These guys are just sitting with nothing to do. Uh, do we have a somebody to man the beaver wheel or to beaver the beaver wheel? I don't think we have anybody. Let's knock down another hauler. If we can't get someone to go in there and do some work for us. It is unpaused. Let's go, fellas. There we go. So we'll get a little bit, a little bit more plank production. We won't get um, gears, which is probably what we need a little bit more, but that's all right. Okay, the river has dried up. The part that we dammed still has some water, so that's kind of cool. That's our brand new uh, dam here. We're still building the top layer. Oh, that didn't last very long. We pumped out the water. And things dried up pretty quick. Oh, boy. Look at all our stuff is drying out. I guess we're going to have to put uh, irrigation towers in here. Especially for these longer droughts. All right. I'm going to go to single speed. Boy, that's a bummer. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate, huh? thought we would be able to hold out a little better than that. Um... All right, what do we got going on here? We got three lumberjack flags. I'm going to kill, I'm going to destroy this one. Just so I can have a path. And then I think I'm going to put an irrigation tower here. Boy, it just, man, is it kind of depressing putting an irrigation tower right next to a river, right? Eventually we can maybe blow this stuff up and at least save two levels of water. You know, have it be two two layers deep. At least for part of it. We do we have pumps? Yeah, we've got some pumps over in this little section. We could blast this out too and make this deeper. Bummer. Man, yeah, I'm disappointed in that. That is upsetting. This part right here. Should we just do it? Put a big old irrigation tower here or two. Do irrigation tower. Man, I'm just not happy about doing this. Um, how are we doing? Of course, that's not going to line up the way we'd like it to. Did we take out... Oh, we can kind of see what this is going to do for us. We probably need one over this way as well. Let's put one here. Yeah, let's do this. Or actually, we can come right up on it like that. Let's take out this guy. Boom. We'll put down new ones. New um, logger guys. That can... Nope, nope, nope. That guy can go. Alright, there's one irrigation tower. We probably need another one out this way. Oh man, that's upsetting. Let's do it though. Let's do it. Can't whine about it too much. We just gotta do it. Make do. This looks like that would have pretty good coverage. Let's do one here. Got to put our path down. And then we probably want yet another water tank. And maybe we need to think about another pump as well. Seems like that would be a wise combination of things to do. We are producing planks a lot faster, so... Let's get a large water tank. How about right here, maybe? That seems like a logical spot. Doesn't block the path. We'll need... I think we need a little nugget of path, though, right there. Right? That's all good. What else? A pump. Pump, pump, a pump. How about... Where do we want to pump? Do we want to pump the river? Or this, yeah, this part? 
Not sure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, grab water. And I think I can... Okay, unlock the water dump. No, we're not doing that yet. just want the normal pump. I'm going to put one right outside. Um, I'm going to need a platform if I do it there. Uh, or I can maybe get clever. That's not a bad spot. And can't do it there. Yeah, we would have to put a little thing to get a little uh, platform to put one more here. We probably will do that. Probably will do that at some point. Get another one in this area. Anyway, let's path to this guy before I forget. Water still looking good. 1,866. We're at single speed. I'll go double. The dam is looking pretty good. We'll get that filled up and it's going to hold back more water next drought for us. But it did hold back some. We benefited from that. We got two more days of drought. Hopefully these trees don't die. No, they're going to hold up 15 days of drought. So they'll be all right. And eventually we'll get these... Uh, Irrigation towers built. Just looking where else we can put a water collector. A water pump. Maybe another one just off the river here? Looks like we're still... We've got plenty of room in District 1, right? Look at this. This is all reachable District 1 land. Uh, we want to get this stairway built. I'm going to do a high priority there. We're thinking about putting a couple things up here. Hopefully in District 1. We're talking about a distribution center. Another one. So we have more beavers being able to distribute goods out of District 1 into other districts. And then um, we talked about putting storage here for District 1. So that these farms here have a place to dump their product. Because right now all of this area... Near the farm. This is all District 2. Or District 3. I'm sorry. District 3. So we'll high prioritize that stairway. See what we get. How are we doing over in District 2? Yeah, we still have quite a few more materials. A few more gears. In order to get our huge underground warehouse. That's not going to move forward until the drought, but we've got a lot of planks waiting for those gear factories. 161 planks. That's awesome. That's really, really good. We've got more planks coming online over here. We also, last episode, did a little experiment. We're trying to um, set up some extra power using windmills, maybe up on this plateau. So we set up a tiered power transfer here, transfer for power shafts kind of working their way up. And then we've got a little path for our builders to get up here. And then once this is built, we're going to try and put a windmill down. I just want to make sure that it can be reached by our beavers. Boy, it's pretty dry. 1,674 water. Let's click on the district and see how housing's doing. 81 or 76 beavers. We're still waiting on this little set of platforms and pathing to get built. That'll open up housing for nine more beavers, I believe. These guys are just waiting on planks. We need another. We probably need another hauler building. Uh, we've got one unemployed. Let's go ahead and put them in. Nope, they already took a job. Or died. Somebody just died. Ooh, this guy's really running. At double speed. Here he goes. Water. Wow, we are chewing through that water. Do you want to get another big tank over in this area? We're going to try and route the water through here, route the river. We're going to blast this and somehow try and irrigate this land naturally without having to haul it by hand. But I'm thinking we do want 
probably another big water tank in district two here. I'm just waiting for the underground warehouse to get built. The large water tank, does that take gears? I think it does. Let's take a look. Large water tank, yeah, it takes 20 gears. So first I want them to finish the warehouse. Then we'll plunk down a big um, water tank. Got two people collecting metal. Oh, one thing I didn't do. I didn't put my lumberjack flags down. The ones that I took up over here, right? Let's find a spot for a couple more lumberjack flags. How about... Where's a good spot for these? There's one spot right here that we could do because this, this path goes around. I could put a little lumberjack flag right... Or no, I guess I can't. I guess I can't. I take it back. I thought there was three blocks here. There isn't. There's one. Um, We can put one down over here. Let's do it. Uh, Where are we? Labor? No, it's going to be wood. Sorry. Lumberjack flag. How about right there? Yeah. It is dry in Beaver Town here. We've got a little bit of water stored up over here. We can't really get to that. Not yet. Might be a decent place for a district, but remember, all this is going to be underwater. And I'm kind of thinking we want to find a way to eventually... Boy, if we could flood in this whole area... Say we didn't develop here and we just flooded this whole area up to here, this level, this tier. Just dam this all up. Man, that thing would never go dry, I don't think, in a drought. We'd have a ton of water. And if we went too high, we'd be pretty safe, I guess, from... You know, I don't think we'd risk flooding our area. So that's another option, right? It's starting to expand out this way. But man, yeah. I mean, it would be a big part of the map kind of wasted. But I suppose we could always platform over it and build. Everything looks dry. I don't know if our crops are going to make it through. Nope, they died. Bummer. Next time. We're doing good on food still. Red has declined. I'm not sure why. Carrots look great. Berries still look good, amazingly. I guess it's good we didn't plant a bunch of potatoes here. They would have died. i had been kind of putting that off. Oh man, is it dry. How long are we got? Forecast is unknown. I think we're out of the drought. Water, we're still we're still okay on water. Okay, I think I can take someone off the well, maybe not. I guess I gotta keep them on the irrigation tower for a little bit longer. Trees seem like they can endure quite a bit. Although we may want an irrigation tower here. Just in case. Let's see. Yeah, that. That would save a whole lot more of our tree farm. Do we want to do that? Just in case we get into trouble. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Boom. Okay, here comes the water. There goes the water wheels. Oh, we're finally shredding metal. That, oh man, is that good. That is super good. Because it's getting us closer to explosives. Now we need to process a ton of scrap metal, though. We need 50 blocks just to build... Or 30 blocks just to build the uh, explosives factory. And then we'll keep that guy humming. Uh, how are we doing on beavers? Two unemployed. Warehouse space? I don't... I'm wondering if I should turn on the uh, paper mill now. Because we're getting close to being able to... Uh, Reduce dynamite. 971. 197. 993. We're a little short on storage. We got another water tank. I've got... Oh, I got a lot of buildings here prioritized, too. Look at all that production. It's nighttime, so we don't have our factories going. 
Okay, things have greened up. Unfortunately, this crop is going to have to be taken up and replanted, I suppose. Kind of a bummer. Hey, beavers are going to work. You know, it probably wouldn't hurt to add more platforms at some point, just so they can move faster, or path faster. Oh man, look at all this. Did this all die? Look at all that died. Oh my goodness. We need more irrigation. Oh man, is that a bummer. Lost a lot of wheat. So that is a big hit to our food if we don't have things properly irrigated. Man, I'm not happy about that. Not happy about that. All right, I think these guys are dropping off metal blocks. Yep, we've got two out of 30 headed to our explosives plant. Make that four out of 30. It's going to be, it's still going to be a while. Don't really need to prioritize it because it's got everything but the metal blocks. So once those metal blocks are ready, they've only got one place to go. I think that's the only thing that we're building that uses those. How are the gears? These guys, 76%. What's the issue? Is it just power? I don't know what determines the productivity here, actually. Is the percentage of time spent on production as opposed to downtime, such as carrying materials? All right. So maybe it's if we had more haulers. Oh, it looks like it's climbing up there, 94 Definitely need gears. We chose to put down two more plank factories. It's possible I might want to yank one of these out and change it into being the gears. We'll just, we'll just see how it shakes out. Food, bread is really going down. Not sure quite why. this guy not it looks like this guy's not getting power but it's nighttime so i can't tell we'll have to wait i think everybody's heading into bed hanging out socializing how are we doing on well-being still need a little more social life it looks like and potatoes of course we've got other things we can build too i didn't leave a lot of room but uh let's look at the leisure we've got a temple must be built on the ground and then we've got carousel oh man 400 horsepower for the carousel i wonder if we can power that thing with um with windmills or when they actually use it uh let's unlock the temple if we can we got 637 science needs to be built on the ground how about, do we have room up here? No, we're going to do stairs and stuff there. What about on the corner here if I platform? Nah, I kind of block those natural stairs too if I do it here. Too bad. It almost, almost fits. What about, what about right here? Am I cutting into the hill? I probably am. Yeah, I'm cutting into that hillside too bad. That would have been good too. Or we can go up high. We've got stairs to get up there. What about something like... Something like up here? Just so there's enough room for them to walk around any way they want. Like... Something like that. This guy takes, what, a whole bunch of stuff. Mostly logs, though. That's not too bad. Um, I'm going to place it. Let's do it and just see what that's all about. Can increase the well-being and try out a new building in the process. It looks cool. All right, we got our house built and connected. We can start thinking about these guys over here. We know we need platforms like that, at least, right? And then we just need a way up. So that might be all there is to it. Now, it makes logical sense to put 
two more of these big guys just opposite. We can leverage the same stairway. We just need to figure out, do we ever... Oh, we can access the top too, right? They are able to come up through here. I forgot what this platform is for. <laughs> it's sitting here. I don't know what this platform is, why I put that there. There probably was a reason. But I don't remember what it is. And it looks like a missing path, right? Let's do it. From here through there. And then we need to think about what we might want to put up here. Let's look at... Rooftop Terrace. We could do... A couple rooftop terrace... <laughs> a couple of rooftop terraces... Why don't we do that? We could choose to go up another level and do it, but... You know, I mean, I could put more just regular lodges and then go one more layer up. I think. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I don't, I guess they don't need a way up. Just thinking what makes sense to do. We could definitely put more homes here. Three more regulars if we wanted. Or we could go up high or we could do leisure stuff. Leisure, leisure. Or just leisure, leisure. This and like this. Or we could do... Let's see. Just seeing how we can make use of the best make use of this space. Um... We had one facing this way. Is there any way to get up there? I'll show you what I'm thinking. On this side, right? If I have these facing here and here, I can put another platform. I'll show you. See, where are you? And I can stack some platforms up here and they can walk along there. In fact, I can put one here too, so they could walk from the land and get to another level right along here. Right, let's just do it. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right, they can access those houses. I think I may have to put a path down. Let's do it. I'm not paying attention to anything else that's going on in the colony right now. Okay, that gets some access to the two double houses. The stacked up, or these are triple houses actually. Level threes, triple lodges. Then a path along here gets us access to the top floor. So if I put a couple of rooftop terraces up here. Right, boom. Those are now accessible, should be, once they're built. And now I'm thinking this side, can I do the same thing? All I need to do is find a way to get to this platform, to get to this platform right here. We could take out one of our inventor huts. Let's see what we've got left to research. We've got, we took out the inventor hut. We could make a path. We could make a path that does this basically the same thing, right? Kind of through here, like this. Is there any other way I can get to this block? I can't put one of these over stairs. I can't put a platform over stairs. That's the limitation I've got. Now, I could do something. I could do something creative. 
over here, maybe. Not really. I mean, I can... Hmm. Like, if I... I can do something creative. I don't like the way it's going to look. Show you what I'm thinking. It would be this. And then a stairway here. And then this and this. And a stairway here. Right? And then a path right there. They can walk up, get up to this platform. And up there is Party City. So we've got four rooftop terraces. We're about to have four. Do it. These don't take any workers. It just takes resources. So let's get them built. Then we'll be styling. We'll be doing pretty good. And then we can pop down more homes. I'm going to wait on the homes. I don't want the population to go outstrip the food supply. I'm a little concerned about bread. I'm actually a little concerned about water. To tell you the truth. Let's, uh, let's prioritize this water pump. I'm just getting a little nervous about water. I'm going to prioritize this big water tank, too. I'm nervous because we're getting more beavers. And I'm really nervous about that bread. We were doing awesome on bread not too long ago. We've got, uh, we had a ton of flour. How are we doing on flour? 16. We got five unemployed beavers. Let's uh, get the second grist mill up and running. So we'll unpause that construction. We need five more metal blocks for our explosives factory. This water wheel is able to get built. It's got three out of 50 logs. I think our trees made it through the last drought. And then hopefully this water tower is going to keep them alive during the next drought. And did we put a big water tank over here somewhere? We, we haven't. Not yet. Just real paranoid here about the water supply. Can you get another tank down? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put another tank down. Water and food are probably the most important of anything, of all the stuff we're doing. Those are two are probably the most important. Underground warehouse. Oh, this is district. Is that district one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think once that gets built, that should be district one. That'll take care of our storage stuff. And then we talked about building another distribution center over here. We just have a lot of projects, right, that are waiting on materials or really haulers. We've got tons of planks. I've got five unemployed. I really want to get storage, too, going. This guy is getting close. Needs planks. Let's get haulers in here. We've got unemployed. What am I doing? Running double speed. Our dam is just about built, so that'll hold back more water next drought than we had um, this most recent drought. So that'll help. Lot of projects. Lot of projects. Tons of trees just waiting to be cut. Look at our log supply. Log supply is looking good. I could put another lumberjack flag down. I don't know that we need to. We got five unemployed hmm, builders. Hopefully they'll find their way. Okay, this guy says no unemployed now. Oh, five unemployed overall. Maybe out here we have some. Five unemployed. Oh man, this colony is growing. How do they have 15 people? I may migrate people out of here. They have filled up all the housing. 
How are we doing over here? We only have housing for two more, so geez, yeah. We need people working. Well, shoot, we've got five unemployed beavers over here. What can we get them doing? We talked about another big water thing, but we wanted to get the gears done and get this warehouse done before we built too much more stuff. Yes, we can put them to collect the scrap. Well, these guys already have full inventories, though. Let's put down another couple of scrap metal collector flags. Where is that? Boom. Scavenger flags. We have the workers sitting here doing nothing. Rotate that. Let's get them going. One there. One there. One there. One there, why not? Gears is the kind of the bottleneck. Going on here. Not sure where our beaver is. Are we getting food? Okay, he's back. He's waiting on planks. We oh we burned through all our planks. We're down to three. I don't believe it. We had a ton. Lots to build. A lot of stuff to get built here. I don't know if these guys will need a path to that or not. We'll see. We're churning out planks. We've got one. It's not... Working. He's wait. No, he's got logs. Okay, there it goes. Three, <clears throat> three guys doing planks. Our beaver will. Let's take this guy off. The river is flowing. It's easy to forget, but let's have him do some other work for us. Okay, scrap metal's getting delivered. See the shredder. Okay, he's shredding away. Still need five more metal blocks, and then we can start thinking about explosives. I got one unemployed. I'm going to unlock the paper mill. See if we can't get a worker in there. And then these are built. We probably... Just thinking about the housing situation here in District 1. We've only got housing for one more beaver. This is all district. This is all district three housing, I believe. Oh, well, I don't know. It's, we don't have anybody there, but there's beavers living in there. So now I'm confused. I think, right? This is showing it's accessible from district three. So are there people living in these homes? It says there are, right? It's shown three dwellers, I believe. Right? But District 3 here doesn't have any population. So, I'm not sure how that works. I thought the beavers could only stay in their given district. But maybe because our beavers can at least get to this area doesn't show the path even them being able to get to it i don't know maybe just because it's in this area the highlighted area they're able to at least access these things even though the path maybe this just shows where the builders can go this path i don't, I don't really know interesting okay we got our water wells or our uh, water pumps built happy to see that would love to get this irrigation tower built and we put Another big tank, too. Yeah, we just have a lot of projects going. Food is... I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous on the food situation. Oh, boy. Look at this. Not connected to any district by paths. Oh, okay. We're going to have to... We can tear up this goofy power thing here now this can come out let's delete it 
we got to take that out. Goodbye. And we got to replace it with a path. That way we can get working on our... Look at this. I should have put one more T-section right here. And we could have connected these two... These two power networks. But we'll figure it out. Right now, no one's using this power. Why don't we connect that over here? I'm going to take up this resource. Demolish. Where are you? Okay, that is going to come out. I'll show you what I mean. This, um, These two water wheels right now aren't connected to anything, right? We temporarily had them connected to the shredder because we needed metal blocks to produce the building next to it. The explosives factory. The explosives factory has power now. And since it exists and is built, it can transfer that power over to the, um, the shredder here. So the shredder is getting power. It doesn't need it from these two water wheels. And now we've got these two water wheels that aren't doing anything, really. They're just spinning and no one's getting power. If I connect power through here, through these buildings, then I think they'll all be back on the same network. So, but we got to take up this tree and we got to put some... Um, you know, our little connector guys here. I'm going to just standardize on using these four ways. I can't put one here until I take up that resource. So we just got to wait for that. Oh, maybe I can prioritize that. Can I? E can I prioritize that? Yeah, demolition priority. Let's make that high. How are we doing here? No drought in the forecast, but I bet the next one's going to be a doozy. We've got water tanks, but man, I am, man, I am nervous about our water. I'm just nervous, even though we've got a better dam. That dam is actually going to hold in a lot more water. I think. Our water pumps are going pretty good. No unemployed in District 1. Housing is full. Ooh, I see explosives. We are starting to produce explosives. Oh man, is that good to see. That is good to see. It's a slow process. A paper mill is available. Do we have anybody working? We do. They're waiting on logs. Got to get another hauler building down. Maybe so much going on up here. Oh, man. I want to put houses here. Just a lot to get built. We've got busy beavers. We've got a thousand science. We kept all our inventors huts. I thought about taking one or two of them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've been working pretty hard for us. Let's see, what can we unlock? Labor monument satisfies all within several, within seven tiles and tiles. Look at these. I didn't leave a lot of room for this stuff. These statues were packed in pretty tight. House food, 1880. I feel better once we get a big warehouse. We can start storing more stuff. Waiting on gears. Gears we're using for the uh, big water tanks too. So that's kind of part of where they're going. Red, man, look at our food. We are, we're in prop, we're in trouble food wise. I'm going to go single speed. Let's get serious here about food. What do we need for bread? We've got 432 wheat. We've got one grist mill that should be going full time. You know, except in the drought times. These buildings are all touching, so these water wheels, when they come online, are just going to add more power to this huge network. What can I do about the food? I could put an irrigation tower over this way. Or I can just plant a bunch of crops here. Right now. And we're waiting on storage. Boy, there's just so many interdependent things.
pretty soon we're going to be able to do some exploding. We've got two dynamite. Talked about maybe blowing up here. That would save a little bit of water or starting to build a channel up through this way. Kind of what I want to do. Let's see. I think we actually have to path to the dynamite, to the X place where we're going to explode stuff. Let's look and see what we can do. Pathing. Where is it? Landscaping. I got to unlock dynamite. Let's do it. 600 science. Okay. I can start placing it. What? Let's think about what we want to do. I want to get water all the way back here. I kind of want to go two levels deep to do it. So. That means... Why don't we start with a line of explosion? Try it out. I'm kind of thinking I want to have a path, so it's got a, you know, a path maybe. Let's do it. Let's start here. And here. And then let's clear out a bunch of this resource. I know it seems crazy when we're already short on food to take out a bunch of bushes, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out this row, and I'm going to take out all this row. And then we're going to start setting up a bunch of explosion. Explosions up through the here to build a channel of water that's going to come up into this area so that this colony can start doing their own farming and water gathering and have their own water supply. Guess we could dam this up. Yeah, I don't know. I do need a path next to this. I guess I might have to take up another row. I certainly will. I'm going to have to take up one more row. Let's do it. Oh, man. I hope we don't run out of food. Seems unwise, but I just need to get it going, I think. We could stretch this path out too and irrigate through here, get rid of this warehouse. Once our new warehouse, if it ever gets built, getting closer. 10 more planks and what, 17 more gears. Let's see about maybe extending this guy out a bit. And we. Let's temporarily put a different path here so these guys can kind of get through a different way. And we're going to tear up this one. We have to wait for them to actually bring those explosives over. Those aren't ready to blow up yet. This, we got to wait till this gets cleared out, and then we'll run a path here so that I think builders can bring the dynamite. It's going to take a while. Hey, what? Let's wrap this one here. We made it through the drought. Our water is slowly rebounding, but I'm a little nervous. A drought comes soon. We're not going to be ready. We've got, we've got, you know, some empty water tanks that I want to see filled up, like, really soon. A little nervous about the water, for sure, if I haven't mentioned that about 12 times. So yeah, we'll pick it up next episode, and we will keep growing this colony. We hopefully will see some explosives next episode. Hopefully they'll start doing this. We're going to extend this water up a bit, and just see if we can't keep this area green during the drought, at least a little better than it is. And maybe do more um, potatoes. Probably potatoes up through here if we can. And then we might move this housing somewhere else and move this uh, warehouse somewhere else to give us some space. That is kind of the plan for analysis. Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.